The ritual is the same at all parliamentary sessions. The President of the European Parliament opens proceedings. He or she represents the institution and all its members. But what exactly is their role and what powers do they have? It all begins here. The President is elected for two and a half years by secret ballot. He juggles a whole range of tasks, but at the head of 751 MEPs from 28 countries, there is one essential skill. Man braucht schon einen Strategie, um Interessenausgleich herbeizuführen, weil man ihn nie erzwingen kann. Den muss man herbeiverhandeln. Das bedarf diplomatischen Geschicks. But above all, daily life for the president is a race against the clock. He or she is also responsible for governing the activities and bodies of the institution, attending meeting after meeting, the EP bureau meeting with the 14 vice presidents, followed by the conference of presidents of the eight political groups, and of course, plenary sessions. But it doesn't stop there. The president represents MEPs externally. He is the interlocutor with heads of state and government. <laughs> Over the course of a legislative term, they meet hundreds of VIPs and cover tens of thousands of kilometers. This leaves the question of power. The parliament has seen its powers continue to increase with each new EU treaty. Those of the president, however, have increased much less significantly. Ich habe schon den Eindruck, dass sich das bessert. Also ich gebe mir ja doch etliche Mühe als Präsident dieser Institution hörbar und sichtbar zu sein. Being seen and heard is crucial at crunch moments, such as at the European Council, where the President addresses heads of state and government with the Parliament's position on the topics covered in the agenda. But strictly speaking, the President does not take part in the debate itself. Press meetings punctuate the daily work. All cameras are on the president in particular on the signing of the agreed EU budget.